Okay, well, let's talk about entertaining. <laughs> Since you have people <laughs> over all the time, um, it, things are very different there than you know what we would see here yeah. uh, on this side of the globe. What counts when you're entertaining? Food. The food, food, the food the and food. wine. So nothing matches. Okay. All my dishes are from secondhand shops or they're these, these stores called Brocamps, mm. which is a step down from an um, antique store and a yeah. step up from a junk store. Okay. So you can buy whole sets of dishes and nothing matches. The only thing that's important in France is you have the right glass for the right wine. Mm. That they are picky about. But dishes, all colors, it, we are in Burgundy, so this is a Burgundy color field right here Got and it. it's all based on the famous tile roofs in burgundy and dijon and lyon and bonne and chablis you'll see these roofs that have these incredible geometric patterns on them in the mm -hmm. tile all these colors so this is very true to to burgundy beautiful yeah. okay Thank you. so you get everyone together no yes. one cares about your dishes but they no. are judging your sauce on the food okay. and the sauce oh my the goodness sauce. france so French, French cuisine is all about an assembly job. Mm. Many of the ingredients are cooked separately and then put in at the end together so it doesn't get that muddled flavor. Nice. But it's all about the sauce. Okay. So this is one of the classic sauces of Burgundy. Let me say it my way and then you say it your way. Red wine sauce. <laughs> now you say it. Well, this uh, sauce vin rouge. It's just better. It's this, just better. This is a sauce that you will find on steak, on uh, game. They eat a lot of game in Burgundy, a lot of wild boar, wild hare, venison. Yeah. And this this is a hearty sauce, and it really stems from the fact that everybody in the village will have these ingredients. This is a grandmother's recipe, so Love every it. grandmother has a different recipe. So show me, Granny, and let's bring Massimo in here. Oh. Massimo's going to start oh, by right. making the roux. Talk about bragging rights. I have one of the best chefs in the land as a there sous chef. Go. Nice. Come on. <laughs> Thank okay. you very much. Burgundy, it's got to be Pinot Noir. Don't be a snob. Buy the one with the screw top. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as good, Even the right? French are coming around. It's fabulous. Okay, and good. And don't blow the budget either because we are, we're flavoring this. So in this right. pot, I have a marrow bone. Mm -hmm. You could make it a lot easier just by doing beef bouillon or uh, beef stock. Okay. Whole bottle of red wine. Mmm. Pour Whole her in. Whole bottle of red wine. Whole yes. bottle of red wine goes in. Okay. Then we're going to flavor that. It's always sad when the bottle's empty, isn't it? It is a sad thing, but it's good if it's going towards making an it's incredible true. meal. Five fresh bay leaves. If you're using dry, only use one or two. Okay. Whole peppercorns. Yeah. Right? Because this garlic. <clears throat> now, the French are very picky about garlic. There's an expression in France called plus goût, which okay. is too much taste. When one ingredient in a, in a dish has too much taste, so be careful on the garlic. Okay. And just, I just smashed it. You're not going to chop it. Right. And one shallot. Just nice. peeled, quartered in there. You're going to bring that to a boil. Okay. And it and reduce it by half. It takes about half an hour. I like to do it slowly because I want to bring out the bone marrow. I want to bring out all the flavors. You yes. can you can boil this up real fast and hard. But I think this is not one of those 30 minute meals. This yes. is kind of a little bit of love. 30 minutes later, mm -hmm. strain it. Yep. All the aromatics have done their job. Mm -hmm. Everything's finished. And that's what Massimo has in front of him Yeah, is the strained wine sauce. Okay, so you've that's done right. all of that. You've I want to know, do you grow any of this uh, in your garden? <laughs> the basil, the, the, yeah. uh, the bay, leaf bay leaf was mine. Okay, yep, all yep. right. Uh, this summer wasn't a great summer, though, for all the herbs, right? Yeah. So the only thing that held on was the bay. Yeah. In this pan, we're going to create a roux, butter, bacon, yeah. hmm. You know, <laughs> gild the lily. Why not? When in, when in France. Yes. Get a little bit of the fat out of the bacon. Mushrooms go in. Chopped shallot goes in. Nice. Now, I know salt, you're used pepper. to having a whole evening to prepare your meals. We have about a minute left. Okay. <laughs> then, salt and pepper. Flour yeah. goes in to make a roux, and he's going to make this nice and brown and all dark and glorious That's and wonderful. Right. Slowly, he will then pour in the hot, reduced wine. Okay. And then what you end up with is this glorious, thick, rich wow. wine mm. sauce. So that's what you're looking for. And this, this is the sauce that's going to go on all of your game right. meat. But the dish I'm going to make for you, which is so totally bizarre for us here, yeah. is oeufs en morette. Okay. Eggs in a red wine sauce. Why not? It's like breakfast for adults. Yes. I would take eggs in anything. So we have a, a soft poached egg. Yes. Uh, bread, which I made yesterday. Mm-hmm. Then you toast the bread, and you just take this glorious sauce. And by the way, anything with bread mm. in it, I'm, I'm in as well. Oh, bread is not the enemy. No, it isn't. <laughs> bread is not the enemy, especially in France. Oh, it's beautiful. And then 
just to just to give it a little bright, brightness in france they actually grow green onions big enough to have a bulb because mm -hmm. we don't generally do that here yeah. i don't cook the green onions and i just chop green onions and a little bit of parsley Amazing. Just, and it just gives it that little bit of brightness, right? It, everything needs a little bit of green in its world. Mm -hmm. What I love is that there's no fear for you cooking for French natives. Oh, honey, I don't cook French for French people. Oh, you don't? Oh, no, 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 no,